We have Marty Azale here from my office in Encino. He has changed my life. Let's do this. Do you remember how we met? I absolutely remember the very first time we met, yeah. We met at um, Marmalade Cafe. They, um, they approached a few of the, of the bigger agents to open uh, a Keller Williams, and they, they wanted to make you the team leader. I was 25 years old. Yeah. And when you said, what? This guy is going to be the team leader? And we were at Marmalade Cafe, you stormed out. I was like, I am going to get him to be my agent. And then wow. you join another company, another company. You know, so, so what I've learned from you is perseverance, right? I mean, we, we danced for a long time, but it was, it was timing. Mm -hmm. When you're doing 600 units a year, everybody wants you. Mm -hmm. um, I left Rodeo to go to Remax because Remax had uh, an international name. Mm -hmm. Keller was just starting to happen here. Were like Keller what? Yeah, exactly. So I, I, I decided to, it was safer to stay with the animal that I know versus an animal that I don't know. Fast forward, I mean, you, you became the most amazing team leader, then OP, then you kind of revolutionized the valley. You pulled in Eric Delgado, you brought a Stephanie Vitaco, you, you, you brought in huge names. Not only that, you've cultivated medium agents into very big agents. How do, you, how do you connect with agents? I mean, what is your trick? Because I can't seem to duplicate that. Well, thank you. Yeah, I, I think one of the things I learned early on, people don't care how much you know until they know how much you care. I didn't know much about real estate. I didn't know as much as other managers on the street knew. They've been in the business 25 years. And I think what was important to me to make sure they know I care. Every individual is different, so I never approach them with how I will do this and how our company will do this. I literally approach them, including you, what is it you need to achieve to your next thing. I build a relationship that they felt I truly care. That has helped me to set me apart. The thing that's different between our office now and, and all of the offices that I've been involved with in 22 years of, of being in real estate, the synergy is, is great, right? I mean, you have the, the, the number one commercial agent, you got the number one r residential agent, and everybody is cool. You don't have to be worried about somebody stealing your leads. You can call and say, hey, Stephanie, you know, how would you handle this? You're, you have access to amazing people that are like-minded, which I've never experienced, right? At Rodeo, when we used to prospect, we used to take the trash with us because people would rummage through it to find our leads so they could try to get to the appointment before us. Mm -hmm. I didn't leave for the money. Mm -hmm. um, I left because I didn't, I no longer felt safe mm -hmm. where I was at. I came to you because I knew that you would take care of me because we were friends. At that point, it, was, it had nothing to do with business. I knew if I called you with a problem, you would answer. And I think that, that the difference between you and, and everybody that I've worked with, and this is to your compliment, you've created a home, and it feels like home. You said something very smart, and you, I think that's where I learned. I learned to talk about money and money, and you, you lose this much money. If you join us, you save this much money. Well, they don't leave for money. So Not big producers. It? No, no. And if the business owner understands numbers and they still don't leave. It must be something else. So that, I want you to know, I learned out of people like you that that's important. I have to create an environment that you feel safe so you can feel excited to be there and that's why I have to protect you at all times.